Hello friends Out and about Early morning We just had daylight savings time So we lost an hour We added an hour So I got up at uh, 6 o'clock this morning And now I'm heading To get gas And meet up with a few friends And head out into the kind of hill country, Marble Falls area to have breakfast. And um, one of the guys that's supposed to go, I think he's going, he uh, just recently bought a brand new RS, the white color, with the white one. Looks really sharp. Haven't seen it yet, so today will be the first day I see it. Well, definitely include some video of that. It's so cool to see another RS on the road, especially uh, up close and personal so that's gonna be cool um, that's about it I've got like a 20 minute ride to the meetup point I'm gonna get some gas and then we're gonna head out it's about an hour 50 minutes to an hour ride out into uh, into the hill country to Marble Falls it's a very lovely ride it's a nice day a little bit cloudy but it's probably gonna get sunny later Let's see, what's the temperature? 62 degrees, so not too bad. Very comfortable. And that'd be it. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Hey, just made it here. Gas station. And uh, got some, some friends with me. Take a look at the bikes. So we got a couple of RSs, look at that. Yes, and a Ducati. I think we've got some other people maybe coming too. I don't know. But there's two RSs in the wild. Love it. It's awesome. What's up, Jeff? Hey, how you nice doing, to Tony? See you, buddy. Nice to see you. Oh, My chicks are friends right now, so I'm not going to look at it. That was funny when I got my new helmet and I did some videos while I was riding. The cheek pads, I was talk like this. Yeah. I was like, yeah, okay, now we're gonna go down. That means your helmet is it's perfect. Yeah, that's a good helmet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That's good. Is any is anybody else coming? I think that's us. Let's go. That's it. Okay. Okay, we're gonna pony up and take off. Yeah, I think. Okay, we're off. So there's five of us. Here at the Blue Bonnet Cafe. And there is 
quite a line of people. We just finished eating and it was very good. We got into talking, so I didn't videotape any of my food, but it was very, very good. And definitely we'll be back. A couple of bikes in the parking lot. These are nice. It's a K1200 RS. Krillia is a nice bike. It's a tour now, I think. Yeah, very cool. Three hour we just finished. Gonna get gonna get ready to saddle up and head out, but I'm gonna talk to uh, talk to my friend here that's got the new RS. Okay, we just finished grubbing out on breakfast. We're out here with uh, Francisco. Yep, you can call me Chico. Chico. So as I mentioned before, here's his relatively brand new bike. So how long have you had it now? Uh, three weeks. Three weeks. So yes. that's the 2023 R1250 RS in white. What is the white color? What is it called? Um, they have a special name for it. I forget. Yeah, I forgot the name too. But there it is. So it's got the black frame. It looks really nice. So there's some there's some changes. I did a video a while ago talking about all the different changes. So if you're interested, you can check that out. But what what led you to buy this bike? Well, that's the that's the key thing. Um, so. I used to have an R90, which is a very good bike, uh, but it's a very raw bike. I wanted a little bit more comfort, a little bit more tech on the bike, and I started looking at other options. Amongst them, I basically was between the RS, the RT, and the GS uh, of the 1250 series on BMW. The RT was for me; it was too big. Uh, the the the, the structure front. was the front yeah, the is very is, yeah, very big. big, and and it wasn't very visually attractive for me. So personally, I didn't like that much. Uh, though it's an amazing bike to ride; it's a very comfortable bike. It it wasn't the style that I was looking for. The two bikes that would fit that would be the GS and the uh, and the RS. Be, uh, uh, two days before I actually got the bike, I got in a in a personal dilemma of actually thinking should I should I get the, the jazz and, and I started pushing myself to see the jazz so I went to the to the store and there's one right over there yeah curiously <laughs> uh, and I hopped on it I think thankfully they guy they had just received my bike uh, at that day so I hopped on my bike and I, and I was jumping in between both bikes I tried I tried all positions I tried, tested the weight of both bikes Three things for me are very critical. The comfort is obviously better on the GS, but it's not to say that this is not comfortable. This is actually very comfortable. And for me, what I was looking for, this fits the bill. That was the first piece. It wasn't a, a huge comfort difference. The second one is essentially the same bike. Uh, so it's about the visuals. When I look back at this bike, I love the style. I love the looks, the sporty looks. When, you, when you're riding, I enjoy going, you know, hugging the the, um, the tank. I enjoy the the aspect of the riding position being a little bit more ag aggressive. Yeah. And last but not least, it's the the center of gravity for me. The way I felt it, it was this one is a little lower, just a little bit. But yeah, when you you're can, you can see like the GS tank is going to sit up higher, and there's more fuel in that tank. That's a yep. bigger tank. Our our tanks are five gallons approximately. That one's I think. Seven, S seven. Yeah, What's seven. your gas tank? Is it seven gallon or seven point nine? Yeah, yeah. So you got you got a couple more gallons of weight up there, and it, it affects your like the experience of. I use the bike to commute too, so have something a little heavier wouldn't be as as pleasant to commute as this one. The engine, everything else, I'm a hundred percent satisfied with it. Uh, that was the reason I I chose was the these three factors and what is it i see something i, I don't have what is what is this, is this heated seat? oh yeah so it has the pillion seat heated too so okay. you can you yeah, can have that. turn that on oh that's cool that was that was a good surprise another good surprise that i wasn't expecting was the um, oh, yeah the center stand. was the center stand yeah but essentially everything else is oh and you got you got a usb like uh the front usb yep yeah right let's see get in there yeah right there I don't have that and you've got the BMW cradle for the phone essentially it's all the same this is a little oh that's the same yeah that's the yeah the flash the high yeah everything else seems to be kind of the same but you've got some some tech stuff in the TFT that's different 
if you want them to turn on. You've got the race. I don't have the racing oh, the, gauge. The, the gauge, sp- yeah. You know, the kind of analog speedometer type thing. I don't have that. So what? So that's what I have. I, yeah, I, I actually I actually am using that a lot. So Yeah, so it's got the that one, that sport one. Yeah, it, has, it shows the that. traction control, the brake uh, strength that you're pulling, the lean angles. It should, I, it probably is just a software thing. If they updated my TFT, I probably could have it, I would imagine. Yeah, there's no re- no technical reason to have it. And they changed, as you point out before, they changed the badging here a little bit, like how it's, how it's worded compared to mine. The interesting thing is, even with the engine being side, like this, this big sideways, you would be surprised that the lean angle is so big that I don't think even the engine touches the floor when no, it goes. No, you got down. a lot of clearance. Yeah. Something that was a, another surprise I didn't know. You have the heel stop. Yeah, that's cool. You you press it and it, it, it turns on the heel the heel stop and the heating. Do you have the how many how many uh, levels? Levels. So both the this two. seat and this one have five levels. Yes, they have two, and that's the, one on mine is warm. And if it's really cold, if it's like 40 or like closer to 39, 40 mm-hmm. degrees, I put it on two. That just like burns my palms. Wow. No, it's so hot. So if I go four with a glove and I have a glove that's that's heat protected, etc., cetera, um, I feel the heat through the glove. Uh, I've never tested five. The, the, they say that you burn yourself. Like yeah, you two is, is just too hot on my hands and I have to turn it off. How about garage door? opener do you do you have that i have yeah i carry your mine on, on uh, my bed i stuck mine yeah. there <laughs> i <laughs> saw that i thought it was a good solution I'm, I'm thinking about doing the same it's only nine but you know i've seen some people they drill drill a hole right here mm-hmm. you know and put the button you know put it underneath and have a button here but i, I don't want to drill i don't want to make holes in the bike what i will say is one of the things that for me was interesting was uh to hold the, my my camera here, I had to buy the this clipper. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the other versions doesn't work. Like the ones that hug the the handlebar. Yeah, because we have no round. We don't have anywhere round that you can grab. Like this is round, but you can't put anything here. Yeah. You know, so you, you really don't have anywhere. That's like where I have mine is here. Uh, it has this this flexibility to. Oh, and you got ocean. and you got this higher. You put it. See, I might. You can't see it anymore. But I was telling the viewers, there's this. There's another um screw hole right here so you can take these out and lower this down even more and screw it in there on these lower ones oh i'm gonna do it um, that's- other than that the the brakes i mean it's the, essentially the same bike as as yours and essentially the same bike as the gs brembo brakes um i'm still using the road mode i i, I think today i just broke the the service so i, I need to take 600 the 600 okay. miles which was good. I, I, one of the good reasons to ride today, besides the great weather. Yeah. So you got you have rain, road, dynamic, dynamic pro, pro and echo mode. Oh, you got the echo. Okay. Yeah. But, that's, um, that's just rain, basically, right? I think probably. An interesting thing is is they don't they only allow four modes. So if you want to get the echo mode available, you have to deactivate one other mode and put echo mode there. Oh, uh, so you're you have echo is then you don't have rain. Or you choose not to have rain or you choose not oh. to have road, etc. So oh, okay. that was an interesting, I think it's a softer thing. But uh, So now that I've passed the 600 mile barrier, I'm going to only use Dynamic Pro. My, my intent was take it slow in the first 600, yeah. take care of the bike. And then once I'm, now that I, I'm going to do the service, I'll come back and only use Dynamic Pro. That's the plan. Very cool. Well, it's a sharp looking bike. So yeah, nice. you can after you drop after you hop out of it. You basically want to look back and, <laughs> and see how nice it looks. And it's the color was a good surprise. I was a little worried about the white color. I've always had black color bikes, and this is absolutely fantastic. Oh, well, that's a lot easier to keep clean too. This gets so dusty and dirty, and you see all the dirt on it. And <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, get the torque screws. Check them once in a while because they do get loose. That little, you know, that little front fairing underneath by mm-hmm. the, that almost came off on me because that one, there was one screw holding it in. It was almost came out and I would have lost that. I would have fell off while I was riding. Um, the bike doesn't really vibrate that much though. Yeah, it's, I, I've, I mean, I used to ride Harley, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, even I it's took the. Not even fair comparison. I took the bar ends off and put those on for the red. And those are just aluminum, so those are really light. 
those are solid. Those are heavy, solid steel. And, you know, of course, they're good for vibration of the handlebars, but this bike doesn't really vibrate. Awesome. Very cool. And you got the panniers, too. Very nice. We'll enjoy it. Let's take a... Thank you. Let's take a group photo. Well, that's it from this side. Thanks for joining us on this yummy breakfast ride. And we'll catch you next time. Later.